This is ISF, everyone. Hey, Jason Carter here. Great to see you. We're going to kick things off today with some movie talk based on the international anime phenomenon Saint Seiya. The new film Knights of the Zodiac brings that world to the big screen in an action-packed motion picture. ISF sat down with rising Latinx star Diego Tinoco, who opened up about the film and his responsibility to push Latinx representation forward. Take a look. I saw what you did in the ring. I knew it had to be you, Saya. What if I told you Sienna here is the reincarnation of the goddess Athena? Diego, hey man. Hey, How's it going? What's going on, brother? How are you? I I'm incredible. Great movie. So fun to watch. How fun is it playing a villain as an actor? Is, it, is, it, is that like the cat's meow? The kids are saying that these days. How fun is it? <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. I think uh, to be able to play the antagonist in the film, uh, from opposite Fonka Johnson, by the way. Exactly, the original Phoenix. The original. You took the words <laughs> out of my mouth. I literally watched. Uh, I think it was Days of Future Past uh -huh. uh, on the way to go shoot with her in Budapest. So I was like, try not to fanboy when I first met her. I would do the same. You have one of the most epic fight scenes in the movie. I mean, this movie's chock full of lots of action. It's very physical. How do you gear up for that? Well, we had a really good uh, storm stunt choreographer, uh, kind of like our trainer, right? Kind of prepping us for the choreography. And, you know, his name's Andy Chang, worked with Jackie Chan, did the Marvel movies. And um, yeah, I mean, I owe it to him, really. In this movie, you play the, the knight, Phoenix. Yes. And were you, were you a fan of the anime universe? before you got the role? I, I was a fan of an anime, yeah. I mean, I grew up, I'm, I'm Latino man, so I grew up with Dragon Ball Z in my household every night on, car, on Cartoon <laughs> Good Network. Network. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but I, I was aware of the uh, the impact that anime had on culture, right? This sort of, uh, this escapism, right? This beautiful escapism, this, this world that's created in anime. So I, I was aware of the impact that it held on society. And uh, once I started doing my homework on this one, I really got to be aware of the impact it held on South America and Mexico as a whole. And uh, man, I couldn't be more honored to represent, you know, such an iconic character, being Mexican, being Ecuadorian, being Latino, right, on the big screen. You don't see too many of these types of characters and uh, I think it's a big moment, not just in my career, but in Hollywood as a whole. What does the future look like to you? Where do you want to go? More yeah. and more drama, more action? A major one for me is working with uh, Tim Burton. I mean, Tim Burton's movies when I was a kid, I mean, those and are the first Beetlejuice, movies. Batman. Of course, I mean, all of all them, All of right? them. Strangely enough, though, for me, it's it's a weird one. It's uh, it's called Dark Shadows. Yes, duh, with Johnny Depp, of Johnny course. Depp, of course. Come on, Diego, but, but for me, But for me, it was, man, when I was a kid, I had this skin condition called vitiligo. Mm -hmm. And when I was really young, I, I sort of felt like this monster, man, because None of the kids wanted to play with me when I was very young. Nobody chose me on the team, none of that stuff, because they thought they were gonna get, uh, that they, they thought it was contagious, mm -hmm. right? So my escape as a kid, it wasn't really anime, it was Tim Burton movies. One final question I gotta ask is, for a friend, Diego, I'm asking for a friend, Dude, what's the workout secrets? Drop them. I know you said no donuts, no cookies. I'm not buying it, man. No, what are you doing? That, but what I, are you doing? I'll be eating all that stuff. Uh, just working out. I mean, hit legs Monday, and hit legs Friday, and then everything between. Hit you know chest, back, all that stuff, and and uh, and just stay focused. I think a big part of it is just showing up too. You know, uh, sometimes we don't feel like doing the work. Hmm. So sometimes we really don't feel like showing up, but it's the one who shows up every single day who who will who will essentially get there and get that dream and, and you know attain that goal and, and that's what you gotta do and I encourage all my all my not just all my Latinos out there and not just all my jóvenes Latinos pero toda la gente uh -huh. all of the youth I encourage Todo. all of you guys if you got a dream get after it and choose who you want to be every single day in this life.